today and we've got a 2010 Ford Focus where the heaters aren't blowing on hot now however uh, upon stripping down of this vehicle because I had planned for the blocked heater matrix I've been past the job I've been past the job anyway um, upon stripping it down you can see I come to the dials here I come to check them and what is happening is the actual cable itself was all twisted up on the end now I can't get one of these for a couple of days from Ford's so we're going for a little trip down the scrapyard to try and get one get a brand new second hand one well luckily there's only a uh, breakers yard talking about tw listen to them but <laughs> I think I need to put some new wipers on the rally van uh, it's only about 20 minute drive so we're going to get there hopefully the weather goes away because it's not looking very good and I'm not one for getting wet truth be told you know what I'm driving around now and I'm, I'm thinking to me it's very rare that I come out the workshop and I mean very rare that I come out the workshop and I'm, I'm driving through these little villages now and I'm thinking Am I in England or am I Wales? Because I'm that close to the border. And I'm like, am I doing 20? Am I doing 30? I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what it is. I'm sure everybody else is like that. Oh my God. Well, wishful thinking of the uh, skies clearing up, but never mind, we're here. Uh, we've got the uh, centre trim removed now. Uh, we need to four screws out of the radio CD player. But before we remove it all, get the dial and give it a good twist and just make sure that it's feeling good now after a little bit of a fiddle we have now got the the brand new second hand one out now how I've done it you take the glove box out I'm gonna go from behind here like this and then where's it gone where's me little get that little fork tool and then feed it down the wire but be extra careful and you've got to prise it against the box itself, the heater box and that clip should pop out and it is a little bit of a nightmare a really fiddly now before you leave the scrapyard make sure that you've got all your tools because there's nothing worse than leaving someone in the scrapyard right well we are now back at the workshop and we're going to get this brand new second hand cable back in now what I'm going to do is feed it through and I'm going to connect it behind the dashboard first I cannot stress to you how fiddly this is you need hands that like do this sort of thing oh it's unreal but anyway fingers crossed we're going to get it on now this little cable is an absolute pig to get on what you need to do is take the vent off for your feet this is a little t20 just down by here and i'm going to put my gopro now in the dash you'll probably see the white little clip and the cable moving now as it should i'll tell you what bloody hell drop the camera that little white plastic clip to get it back into the heater box itself oh right fiddly that was and that after quite a few swear words I, I never swear I never swear but off camera is a different story altogether anyway that cable now is working as it should now all I've got to do is put all this unnecessary stuff that I've taken apart it's another story it's another story but anyway we're getting back to it we're gonna get all this put back together and there we have it, that car now is all back together. We've given it a bit of a hoover, tidy everything up, give the dash a bit of a wipe. Now, heater controls are working as they should, go to cold and they go to hot. Get my little thermometer now. We've got 61 degrees, 63 degrees. That is absolutely perfect. You know what, I might find myself a thermal imaging camera. I might see if I can get a thermal imaging camera from somewhere, but yeah. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed that video, and that is all heaters fixed on the Ford Focus. Let's get some.